What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 23rd, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news from the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all media as a Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on my video. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and let's start off today by talking about the first patch to come to pokemon let's go this brings the games up to version 1.0.1 the file size is on the small size but it's just coming about 33.9 megabytes to download this patch as of right now as far as we know this is just fixing a little bit of the known bugs within the game including a bug that prevented pokemon that you got in via mystery gift to not been added to the pokedex so far, to my knowledge, there's only been one mystery GIF event, which I believe was the Pokemon Center exclusive, and it was for the Pokemon Chansey. And obviously, with Chansey being somewhat of a common Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go, most people who have the privilege of participating in that mystery GIF event probably already had caught Chansey before the event went live, and not a lot of people ran into this bug in the first place because I didn't see it a lot online of people talking about it, but it was a thing. Also, this patch will switch the symbols of the star and the square in the eye the judge system basically matching them to fit what the regular order of the rest of the game shows because in this one feature it's kind of weird that before this patch went live and i wish i had footage of it but it just had the star in the square in different placement slots that was different from if you were putting a marking on one of your pokemon and stuff like that like every else other place in the game had it in another order than it had it in the iv judge placement and again this is pretty much it as far as we no, of course people will find out more if there is indeed more to find out that is in this patch but as of right now that's pretty much it that's all the patch brought to the games now while we're talking about pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go ev let's talk about some physical sales numbers on the game and how they rank on the best selling games of 2018 let's go pikachu hit the number six spot and ev hit the number seven spot which is kind of okay for pokemon pokemon is used to being the best selling game on the console obviously coming from the 3d in the DS before it, but that obviously didn't happen in 2018. Of course, being on Nintendo's home console and a portable hybrid, and of course, being on the same console as games like Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which had the first slot. So it's not a surprise that it came in kind of low ish, less than half, to be honest. Hopefully, with this year, Pokemon hits harder with the new Generation 8 games and with Pokemon and probably Animal Crossing being the only two big games to come out in 2019. Hopefully we do get a Metroid or something else to that effect. But as of right now, Pokemon is looking to be the front runner for the top selling game on the Nintendo Switch. Also today, we found out what was the best selling game of 2018 for the 3DS family of system. And number one was Pokemon Ultra Sun and number two was Pokemon Ultra Moon, which is pretty good considering that that sold more than Mario Kart 7, Super Smash Brothers on the 3ds and super mario 3d land which are all pretty good games in their own right especially when you think that pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon are basically just a you know plus version of the games that came out a year before pokemon sun and pokemon moon another surprise that's on that list is detective pikachu which hit at number five again selling more than super mario 3d land minecraft luigi's mansion and mario party the top 100 also again great games to be in the conversation with i wonder how many copies got sold after the Detective Pikachu live action trailer was released because as a Pokemon fan, I skipped Detective Pikachu on the 3DS. I am aware that I'm just going to probably get it later on down the line, pop it in, and just run through the game because from reviews that I've seen, it's fairly on the easy side and it's not something that you need to complete as a Pokemon fan, but it is something that you want to grab, especially if you want to jump more into the lore of the Detective Pikachu franchise, especially with the movie coming out. So moving on to some more quick Pokemon Go news. Data Miner Charles found some new flower costumes for the whole EV evolutionary family. Now, these flower costumes for these Pokemon are currently unreleased, so you cannot get them in game. But with them being found inside 
out of the game's code already. We should know that this is probably going to come soon with probably an Easter celebration where they're going to probably throw flowers on a couple of Pokemon, Eevee being included. And of course, because you can involve Eevee into all of these evolutions, they had to throw it on the evolutions and including the shiny variants. Let me know what your thoughts on these. The Pokemon completionist in me wants to get all of these, but with this being, you know, a ton of evolutions that I got to get, and it's not guarantee on which of the evolutions that Eevee evolves into inside of Pokemon Go, it might take even the pro players a while to you knock out, you know, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Espeon, Leafeon, you know, it's going to take them a while to knock out everybody. So if they do add this event in the game, hopefully we are able to rack up a significant number of EVs with this flower. Now, in other quick news, Luggage Fly has a pair of new Pokemon products featuring the fairy type Pokemon on a book bag slash laptop bag in a wallet. The bag costs $45 while the wallet costs 10. It looks perfect for any female Pokemon trainer out there looking to grab it. If you are, I'm going to have a link to this in the description below. While we're talking about bags and merch and stuff like that, Ban Presto, I'm probably saying that wrong, has some Detective Pikachu merchandise coming this May and will be available through crane machines in arcades in Japan. Some merch includes plush dolls, cushions, and coin plushies. Now, while we're talking about Japan only stuff, in Japan from February 4th to February 11th, 2019, two promotions for Alolan Vulpix and Vulpix will be happening in, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Hakayo? Alolan Vulpix and Vulpix light up snow sculptures will be on display at the Sparrow Snow Festival. The other event, which will also take place in February 4th, 2019, and will net you a limited edition Alolan Vulpix and Vulpix coaster when you order a parfait at any Snap Row Shine Parfait location. And I'm probably saying that wrong. Roast me in the comments. I wish I could go to these type of events, especially in Japan. It would give me an excuse to fly out there for her weekend or whatever the case may be. Not going to happen. It's kind of too close to be flying out to Japan on February 4th, especially just for a exclusive coaster. Again, the Pokemon completionist in me wants to get it. I'll probably see if I can grab it off eBay if I really, really do want it. And that's going to be it, guys, for today's Pokemon News Daily. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything that we went over today. From the brand new patch for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, with it being a small patch and not too much bugs being fixed, I kind of hope this is the start of more patches rolling out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, damn it, with new content. I would love if they added new stuff to the game, but I doubt that, especially with the Gen 8 games rolling out this year. But I just, I wish the Pokemon company will step into 2019 and be like, you know what? We're going to update our game, man. We're going to update the game. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on the physical sales of Pokemon that Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that we gotten from 2018. Also, let me know your thoughts on the physical sales of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which again was the number one selling 3DS game in the number one selling 3DS game for 2018. Also, let me know your thoughts on these brand new flower costumes coming to Pokemon Go. I know there's other Pokemon that do have costumes, quote unquote, that are unreleased. Let me know your thoughts on them and how do you think Niantic will go about releasing these costumes. Also, the merch stuff that is coming from Luggage Fly and Band Presto. Are you thinking about getting any of these? I know a lot of the Crane game merch stuff is kind of hard to get, but it is quite easy if you know where you're looking, especially on eBay. You can find a ton of people selling stuff that they win from Crane games in Japan. And then let me know your thoughts on the Alolan event that is going on in Japan. And, and do you think you're going to be able to grab one of these exclusive coasters? I wish I could, and it'd probably be cheap, to be honest, to grab one of these. It's just the shipping might be more than the actual price the person wants for them. But let's see when those days roll by. So I'm going to end the video here. Peace, guys. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon News Daily. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys next time. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.